Audio Jungle. Quirky campers! They're awesome. We're in England, just outside of London in one of the suburbs. <laughs> and look at this crazy right-hand driver. Hello. It's Brittany. It's me. Are you driving on the other side of the road this morning? I am. Actually not this morning, that was last night, because we stayed in this exact spot last night. Yeah, we have not moved. We are slightly overwhelmed by having to drive on the other side of the road, uh, but we're parked in an Asda parking lot, which is... A, a subsidiary of Walmart. Yes, exactly. So um, in the U.S., we would park in Walmart parking lots quite a bit. And you can park in 24-hour Asda lots. Uh, we won't stay here, though. We're going to go move to the countryside, so we have more space to roam. But we want to show you some really cool, quirky things about our quirky camper named Hector. Come on, let's show him. Well, there's a couple things up front. Oh, okay. Not so fast. Okay. I just learned this. I, was I got excited. To find the horn to beep at you, and it's right here. Look at this. It's on the stick. Isn't that fun? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> there's also a little bell up here. When we get rowdy in the car. Other way. Other way. Other way. Let it hit the bell. Oh, I'll show Brittany how to do that later. We can't see it anyways. <laughs> anyways, we're still learning. We just got this last night. Yeah, it hasn't even been 24 hours. Yeah, we've only driven it about two miles so far. But yeah, check out the side of it from here. It looks like a moving van. <laughs> exactly. It was converted about two years ago. You would never know that a whole house awaited inside. Take you to the back. Ta-da! Ta-da! Look at that. Another amazing thing is that it has a pull down cover. So we can go total stealth mode, especially parking in the Asda parking lot. <laughs> but yeah, we love the look of the back of this. Awesome blue colored door. Get on right, stepping on the hinge. And it has one of those awesome British lock systems. And we really use it. We lock it like a house. Yep. All right, let's open on up. The exciting part. Ta -da -da -da. Welcome to our cute little box on wheels. Oh, we love this spot. It's amazing in here. Um, it's it actually like a lot more inside than outside. Uh, yeah, it's probably mid to high 30s today. Yeah. It's quite chilly. February camper vanning around London, that's ballsy, but <laughs> <laughs> we are Mr. and Mrs. Adventure, so here we are. Uh, a couple things, let's show you the kitchen. Uh, we have this beautiful copper sink here. It has our washing basin in it currently. Yes, we wash our dishes in here to save conserve the water. Uh, it holds 33 gallons of water, so a bit more than our American Sprinter van. Uh, the water does just drop right out of the sink. There's no uh, holding tank, so we don't have to dump anything. Um, and there's some cabinets that I can't quite reach, but that's where the pots there's and some pans. awesome lighting up here underneath. If we can get the camera to focus and lighten up a little bit. There's a hot water system right here. There's actually propane underneath the countertop that you access the tank from the back. It doesn't hook up directly to the propane fill like it does in the US, but we uh, have a manifold right here that controls the hot water for the refrigerator, the cooker, and the hot water system. Yep. And, Very uh, in convenient. inventive. Yes. Inventive, yes. And in here we have our, this is our bathroom mirror, right? Uh, and it stays in place, it's a little hair tie, so when you're driving, it's not accordion all over the place. Uh, another thing we did not have in our American Sprinter van was an oven. An so oven, this is incredible. Last night we I cooked the pizza. Yes, our first pizza of van life ever. And it actually kept everything really nice and warm inside, which was great. And a four stove top burner. Actually, they called the hob here. Oh yes, the hob. The hob. I made homemade soup last night, which I've also never done in the history of van life. Uh, so we're reinventing van life all over the place. Let's show them inside this blue door. The bathroom, you want to come around? Yes, I can sneak past you. So, in here we have the loo. The loo. We have our towel Push thing. our towels over. Yes, go yeah, on in. There's a toilet right there. It goes into a bucket, which then you uh, and find a tree or something uh, inconspicuous to pour out. You fertilize. Contents. You fertilize. There's also a full on shower. Shower right here. Yep. With very nice marble walls and Our tile, tile floor. floors. Yes. So fancy. We love the woodwork in this thing. It's and awesome. all the little knobs. They're pretty little brass things. Everything's nice quality. I'm uh, very impressed in here with another cute little knob. You open it, we have. We packed a lot of our pantry items and things. miscellaneous things in here. Our now jeans. As always, with our new Mr. and Mrs. Adventure sticker. Yeah, I got this. Along with our old one. Get that focused in there. There you go. Aren't 
Stay nice. Edition one. Edition two. Thank you, John, for making our stickers yes. always and forever. It's awesome. High quality. They last forever. Everything. Um, this is our dining table. Look at this. This it's is new to this van. We so weren't quite used to such a enjoyable spot to feast and hang out. And look, it's got this beautiful little candelabra. The candle is like one of our most essential van life items. It is. And I can't wait to celebrate Valentine's Day. Gonna, this weekend, two days away. Yes, we're gonna cook a delicious oven meal. And we're newlyweds and we're gonna celebrate Valentine's Day van lifestyle. Yep, first time. And uh. Oh, and we have a picture of the prince right here. That's right. This is one of our. Yes. A proper English man. He's a little crooked, but he's looking nice. And the baron up here. I wish you could see the him. The baron. The baron. Uh, he's intimidating. <laughs> I like that touch. <laughs> did he came out of the darkness right there on the camera shot. <laughs> did he? Yeah. So and look at this. Good. This is our heater. We have That's a full it. out fireplace. fireplace. It's open. We put in little chips of wood. Yep. We just go and you ask little timber yards if they have uh, extra chips of wood. And the shaft goes right up there to let out the smoke preventing it from getting all smoky inside the van. Very smart design. And then we have the ladder here. We have a bunch of storage under here. There's a guitar hook, uh, but we use it for our things. And so we are just renting Hector for the month and its owner, he was fantastic. We enjoyed meeting him and he gave us a terrific tour of the van last night. It showed us all his hard work and how all the uh, mechanics and so forth work about it. Yeah, he built this out himself with his dad, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, but onto the bed. So last night we were freezing our butts off and we put our sleeping bags on top of us. We realized we should have probably slept in them. Uh, we went ahead and got a duvet cover today, extra blankets. Um, we're prepped and prepared for tonight. Yes. And, and you got some wool socks. Got some really warm wool socks. My feet were so cold. Um, but. And look, you can see she's wearing some solid winter boots today. Yes, thanks to Soul Labs. Yes. Thank you for these amazing Pajar cut it up boots. They are really the best shoes I've ever had. Like, they've saved my life. <laughs> <laughs> um, but look at how cool this duvet cover is. Have you ever seen a permade? A permade. A permade. <laughs> I was sort of against getting a duvet cover until I saw that. And then I <laughs> And it looks really good, Hector. Hector was missing a perky. Perky. So yeah, this is the whole essence of Hector. There's also storage cabinets behind the bench seat right here. My clothes are in there. Yep. Yeah, we have a 110 liter water tank that supplies us water to the kitchen sink, to the shower, and yeah, we're really equipped in here. It's so much more spacious than our Sprinter van in the U.S. Um, so we're enjoying our time and having a wonderful day. We are, and um, we're off to, we think the southwest of London, or maybe the north to start. You'll have to yeah. stay tuned and we'll see. Follow us at mrandmrsadventure.com. See where Hector takes us. And follow us on Instagram at mrandmrsadventure. That's right. And we're going to be on John Lee Dumas' Entrepreneur on Fire podcast on Valentine's Day. Yes, yeah, so, so that's two gents. days from today. Either watch it then, or if you're watching this after the fact, go on eofire.com and check out Mr. and Mrs. Adventure's podcast on 214, February 14th. Check us out. Check we'll us see out. you next time. Or as JLD would say, we'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs>